Who would have thought that the Cubs in late August would still be on top in the East? But there they were, in a pivotal game against Houston and what would become a game of the year. The Cubs began digging their grave in the second when the Astros loaded the bases against Mike Bilecki and Rafael Ramirez forced a faux pas. Now the delivery. Ground ball, they won't get a double play. Out is wild throw into right field. Two-run score, runners at second and throw. Dunson threw the ball away. Ramirez struck again in the fourth with a two-run double. Then Granley fanned the flames in the fifth. Now Ramirez drives one high and deep to left. McClendon back on the track, and that ball's gone. He left it up, and Ramirez hit it out. A grand slam home run for Rafael Ramirez. Ramirez now has seven runs batted in in this game. One in the second inning, two in the fourth, and four here in the fifth on a grand slam home run. And just like that, it's a five-run inning and a nine-to-nothing ball game. By the sixth inning, we were losing uh, nine to nothing, and, and nine to nothing. Pretty much, most teams are going to lay down, especially that late. I mean, it happened earlier in the season where teams were were ahead by that many early in the game, but this was the, the sixth inning, and we only had three more times at bat. Ah, but Wrigley is no stranger to strangeness, and the Cubs began their own chapter in the sixth. Mark Grace was on second, Sean Dunstan at bat, and Mark Portugal got a chop. Big chop off the plate, Portugal backing down off the mound, barehanded pick up, and he throws it away. The run will score, and Dunstan's on his way to second, so the Cubs pick up a run. Dunstan, too, eventually scored. Then in the seventh, Lloyd McClendon with a man aboard. There's a drive in the center field. Way back. Might be. Hit it! A nine to four game. And the Cubs now trail only by five. When the wind's blowing out in Wrigley Field, you always know that no lead is safe. And we scored nine quick runs off of them. And I... When you're in that situation, you know it can happen the other way. And it was just one of those things where I brought in four or five relievers, and every one of them gave up a hit to the first man they faced. And, and once the snow, the snowball starts rolling, it, it sometimes you can't stop it, and that's exactly what happened. The snowball cut the lead to nine to eight in the eighth, when with a runner on third, Dwight Smith made the kind of sacrifice that makes for games of the year. From a 9-0 deficit to a 10th inning triumph, once again, Dwight Smith. Cubs win! Cubs win! Cubs win! Holy cow! Cubs win! After being behind, 9 to nothing, And look at them, they're mobbing Dwight Smith, who drove in the tying run, and now the winning run. What a victory! When the game is over and you go in and you face the media and so forth, their first reaction is, boy, what this will do to your club, you allow me to win six in a row. Well, that stopped in a hurry because Mike Scott beat us the very next night. Na, 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 na.